Hi everyone, my name is Lauren Bush, uh, the Director of Product Program for GSWNY, um, and today I wanted to share with you um, a new hobby and interest that I have, um, and I wanted to share a little bit about gardening. Um, I just started becoming interested in gardening and learning about it, um, and one plant that is really fun and easy to grow, especially for beginners, is called a hosta, which is a really easy type of foliage plant to grow, and I'll show you what a hosta is. And this is a hosta, and a hosta is a uh, really pretty green foliage plant that grows really uh, uh, tall and it grows wide and spreads. Um, sometimes hostas get flowers um, and sometimes they just stay green like this. Um, but it's really good for filling in empty space. Um, they're really easy, low maintenance plants. Um, so if you're a beginner gardener, this might be something that would be perfect to really spruce up a garden, um, or you can even um, pot them, uh, plant them in a pot. All right, so today I'm going to share um, how to plant a hosta. All right, so the first thing about a hosta is that it is a perennial, um, and a perennial is a plant that comes back every year. Uh, so again, your mom or um, a family member might, you know, uh, once the, the springtime hits um, and they might go to a, a local nursery or garden center and get you know different flowers to plant in your garden. Um, a perennial is one that comes back every year so you don't need to repurchase them. And the great thing about a hosta is um, like I mentioned that it spreads um, so every year it doubles in size and what's really awesome about it is that you can split it and you would just split the roots um, and you could give one to a neighbor or give one to another friend to use in their garden or plant it somewhere else. What's also really great about hostas is um, that since they are perennials and they grow back, um, if the leaves fall off or they get eaten, like this one, um, it's okay because the roots are the important part. Um, and as long as you plant the roots, um, the leaves and everything will grow back um, and they will grow really full and beautiful again. So I just bought this over the weekend um, and I do live in an area where there are a lot of deer in my backyard. So unfortunately the deer got to it and ate all of the, the really beautiful leaves, um, but that's okay because I'm still gonna plant it and I am going to put it in a pot um, so then that way I can move it around. Um, I do like planting hostas in, in, in pots because again, you can move them. Um, I typically keep them on the end of my garden um, and sometimes I bring them up to, the, to my front steps uh, because they just, they look really beautiful. So the first thing to know about hosta is they do like part sun to shade, um, so not a, place that's super super sunny or has direct sunlight all day long um, but a little mixture and that's where they thrive. Um, what's also really great about hostas is once I plant this um, within a few weeks I'm going to start to get new growth on the leaves and although it may look like it's half eaten and not doing so well um, it's going to be really beautiful um, in a couple of short weeks. So the first thing to do when you're learning uh, to plant hostas is you need to um, take it out and be it if you're going to be planting it in a pot or in your garden, um, you'd want to just loosen the roots a little bit because right now the roots are pretty tightly confined to the pot that they were in. You don't want to break them, but you just want to gently loosen them up. And the key to planting a hosta is that you want to plant it deep enough uh, so the roots can expand and, and uh, they can breathe a little bit. So typically about a foot um, is a good um, amount, you know, deep enough to plant it, again, be it in a pot or in your garden. Um, so after you loosen it up, the goal is to uh, cover the plant. So again, about a foot deep in the ground and you want to loosely pack it with soil. So you don't want to, uh, you know, pack it too tight with soil, but you want to make sure that the plant has a little bit of room to breathe and the roots can expand. So I dug my hole about a foot in the dirt and now I'm going to plant my hosta. And then I'm just going to fill it in with some nice soil. Again, not packing it in too deep or too tightly. All right, so this is my hosta. What it looks like once it's planted. Um, and I will hopefully share again um, what it looks like in a few weeks. Um, but thank you so much for tuning in and hopefully you learned a little bit about a hosta and how to plant it. Um, and I hope everyone has a rest, uh, a rest, a good rest of your day and a great rest of your summer.
拜拜。